the last video, we have deployed two new MongoDB instances to the Docker Swarm cluster. So plus the one we deployed in the, uh, in the first video, now we have three MongoDB instances running in our Docker Swarm cluster. So in this video, let's make those three MongoDB instances to work together as a MongoDB replica set. So in order to do that, let's first do uh, a few things. Uh, uh, the first thing I want to do here is uh, to remove uh, the stack we deployed in the last video. Let's first show all the stack that is running currently by running docker stack list and let's remove this stack by uh, docker stack remove uh, and the name of the stack. And now uh, we have no stack running and the services we're running have been removed. Uh, let's, uh, the second thing we need to do is to create a Docker network for those three uh, MongoDB instance that, uh, instances that we are going to deploy to be able to communicate with each other. So uh, you create a Docker network by using Docker network create command specifying a driver. Uh, here we have to specify the driver overlay because uh, the MongoDB services we are going to deploy uh, will be working, uh, running, will be running on different uh, Docker Swarm nodes. So they have to use the driver overlay to be able to communicate with each other. So uh, let's call this Mongo, uh, the network MongoNet. And after we create the uh, Docker Swarm network, let's go uh, into the Docker Compose file uh, we added in the last ep uh, last video. So the first thing is uh, let's attach the these services to the next network we just created. Let's do this to all containers uh, to all services. Let's do it for this service as well. Should be networks. Mongo net. Okay. So the second thing uh, I I need to do here is uh, let's remove the exposed uh, ports for all, all the services because we will be accessing these uh, services on this network we just created by other services on the same, ne uh, same, same network. So we don't really need to expose the services to the outside world. So uh, also, uh, if we, uh, we are going to deploy uh, MongoDB replica set, and in order to do that, we have to add a, a parameter for uh, the Mongo, Mongo service uh, command. Uh, we, we, we do that by uh, add the command section for a service, for a Docker, a Docker Compose service. And it should be command, and you need to add the command options here. So the command, uh, each MongoDB instance uh, to start is the MongoD, MongoD script. And uh, uh, to be able to support replica set, uh, we need to specify this parameter, this option here, and give it a name. So this is going to be the name of the replica set that you will be configuring. And let's specify it as test RS. And let's copy and paste this to each of the uh, rest uh, the rest services. So all right, now since we also used a network that is uh, uh, not in this uh, compose file, so we have to uh, declare that as well. We declare a network by specifying networks and uh, the na name of the network and also uh, some, some other options. Since this net network is not going to be creating 
uh, gonna be created by this Docker uh, compose file uh, when deploying. So we specify we since we have already defined it, we just need to specify it's an external network. So now we just need to go back to the command line and do Docker stack deploy uh, and deploy the same service, uh, uh, deploy the same stack again, giving it a name MongoDB. All right, now let's check if these services are actually running. So now the services are up and running and let's clear uh, the screen first. Uh, the next thing is, uh, although we have used the uh, option to start the MongoDB, but you have to connect to the DB to, actual, uh, to, to actually uh, initialize, initiate the uh, Mongo replica set to start. And uh, you have to connect to at least one uh, Mongo service. So we can do that by check uh, the, uh, the container that is running on the uh, manager node because this, uh, the manager node is used as one of the Docker uh, Swarm node to deploy the MongoDB service. Uh, we do that by Docker PS. And this is, uh, as you can see, this service, uh, uh, this container is running on the manager node and we can we can go actually go into uh, the the docker container and run command bash now we are uh, inside the container and uh, we can on, we can simply just just run mongo client to connect to the local host uh, MongoDB. So by localhost, it means the container localhost, which the service is, uh, which the MongoDB service is running at. Uh, let's, and now we are inside the MongoDB shell. And uh, since we are in the MongoDB shell, we can run RS. So all the replica set command is under RS namespace. So we initialize the Replica set by using initial rs dot initial eight initial eight yes and let's specify a couple options here so first you you have to give uh, specify the ID of the replica set as same as what you use in the Docker compose file uh, the the option that you pass to the MongoD uh, script and uh, we what we use is test rs and the second thing is to specify the members of the mongodb replica set those are the three hosts that are actually running mongodb services so this is an array and it will have three mem uh, three elements so the first uh, host let's define it the ID as one and the host will be the service name. So inside Docker Swarm, on the same Docker Swarm network, services services will uh, will be able to uh, be accessed by the service name. So the service name will be the actually host name. So the host name would be uh, Mongo2. I mean the Mongo one, because you have to include all the hosts that are running MongoDB services. If you want to use it as uh, a member, as uh, the replica set you are creating here. So let's also add the second host. So the ID will be two, and uh, the host will be Mongo two and uh, the same port and the last one so okay and the last one here which is id3 and host will be mongo32017017 
and、uh, we also need to. You can also specify some other、uh, options here, but let's just skip it. So it because it actually has a setting parameter、uh, as well, but、uh, I think we will be fine just skipping it. Okay, let's go ahead, hit enter. And the result is okay, and the replica set now running. And as you can say,、uh, as you can see here,、uh, the current host, the current、uh, MongoDB service, we are、um, we are running the sh shell against is already part of a replica set, and it shows、uh, it's a secondary. A、uh, member of、uh, the replica set. Okay, let's go ahead and exit from the MongoDB shell, and let's exit from the container. And now we have a Mongo replica set running. And in the next video, we will be talking about how to.、Uh, Actually, access the MongoDB replica set、uh, by its MongoDB URL, and、uh, also we we want to configure the authentication for MongoDB as well, and、uh, add the key file uh, for uh, for the MongoDB service, so so they can communicate with、uh, each other、um, inside the、uh, for the replica set like securely. So see you in the next video.